Thanks for joining us here on SportsRadio610.com. As the week comes to an end, kind of a tradition, we do our three on the spot regarding the Texans. Monday night game at Indianapolis. You'll hear it right here on Sports Radio 610. We pick three. We do it every week. I'll start with Brian Cushing. Pretty obvious. Moving to a new position at middle linebacker, not only is that going to be a very important thing to keep an eye on and a real key to the Texans' defense, but it's his third game back. We all expect to see Brian Cushing kind of start hitting his stride very soon here. I think he is at the top of the list of Texans on the spot this week. Yeah, the guy at the top of my list is the guy who was so good against the Colts in the opening game of the season, Arian Foster. He ran for 231 yards that day. He doesn't have to do that again. But if the Texans want to win this game, they got to keep the ball out of Peyton Manning's hands, and that starts with a good running game. I think it's very likely if they win this game, they're going to win a shootout, which means I think the Texans need to be firing on all cylinders offensively, not only running the football, but throwing the football. That brings me to left tackle Dwayne Brown, who's returning from a four-game suspension. We'll see if he's rusty at all. His baptism by fire back into the league is against Dwight Freeney, one of the best in the league. So how well Dwayne Brown plays and holds up against Freeney, a real key to this game. He's my number Number two Texan on the spot. And number two for me is Bernard Pollard. He's not been the Bernard Pollard that we saw last year quite as much this year. The Texans have had trouble covering opposing receivers. Bernard Pollard is an impact player. And don't forget, he had a huge force turnover in the first game here in Houston. Bernard Pollard needs to have a big game for the Texans to win this. I'm going special teams with my third guy on the spot because I think it's high time the Texans took either a punt return or a kick return to the house. They have not had much impact from their return team so far this season. My number three guy on the spot is Jacoby Jones, one of the most dynamic punt returners in the league. Gary Kubiak has said he's going to get more opportunities to do some kick returning duties as well. I think if Jacoby is at the is on top of his game on, on Monday night, uh, he can make a real difference in this game. And the third player for me, Texan on the spot, is Kareem Jackson. He's been on our list, seems like, every week. Uh, you're going against Peyton Manning again, Reggie Wayne again. I don't care if Austin Colley and Dallas Clark are out. Kareem Jackson needs to play better if the Texans have any chance of winning this game. Monday afternoon, 4 p.m., the Houston Texans Capital One Bank countdown to kickoff gets our coverage underway. Hope you'll enjoy the game as much as us on Monday night. Thanks for joining us here on SportsRadio610.com.